quickly she says don't gamble with your soul i'm going to keep talking about god i'm going to keep spreading the good news of jesus christ whether anybody likes it or whether anybody doesn't like it i'm going to keep doing what i do and that's just that nobody can't say that we didn't tell you your soul is going to be required of you one day you're going to have to give an account for everything that you did in this life this is not a free-for-all this is not a game don't gamble with your soul because it's that's not cool and now this is ironic because they are the ones gambling with their soul because they don't even really know if the god that they worship is even real oh no i tried them for myself <laughs> And when I found Jesus, I don't know where he was found. When I found Jesus, he changed my life and he turned my life around. Ridiculous. You have to try him for yourself and all this other type of stuff to have a personal relationship with Jesus. This is what Christians will say. I have a personal relationship with Jesus. Jesus told you in the Bible to only have a relationship with the Father. Why are you talking to Jesus? Jesus said, don't, <laughs> Jesus said, there's none good but the Father. When Jesus was talking to his disciples, he wasn't teaching them how to pray to him. He taught his disciples and said, our Father. You over here talking about you got a personal relationship with Jesus. For what? You're not supposed to have a personal relationship with Jesus. You're supposed to have a personal relationship with God. It tells you in your Bible that Jesus was just the advocator between God and man. You are actually on the same level, if not greater. But you and Christ are the one and the same, if you really understand the, the figurative language. But like I said, we'll deal with that another time for another day. But your sons and daughters of God know more than Jesus is. When it tells you, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, Christ, Christ is a title. Christ's consciousness is what Jesus had. And you can tap into Christ consciousness when you know thyself, when you enter into the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God? It's within you. The audacity that some of these people have to say, and I say this respectfully, that you have the nerve to say that we're gambling with our soul, we're gambling with our lives, and you can't even prove that your God even exists. You have a relationship with a person that you don't even know their birthday. You don't even know what they look like. You can't talk to them. You can't call them up. They don't come to you in dreams and visions. Most black people even, most black people see Jesus as a white man as it is. So, so <laughs> you're gambling with your life. I'm securing my life. All right, I can't believe in something that I can obviously study and, and know that what you believe in is just a perception of truth. It's not the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's just a perception. It's a piece of truth. 